Hello and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It's Thursday, July the 21st of 2022. This evening, our prayer resources are taken from Mary Jo Letty's Radical Gratitude. So we begin with a reading from Mary Jo Letty. Still I breathe in you, you breathe in me. I live in you, you live in me. I come from you, I go to you. You in the beginning, you in the end. From you, with you, for you, forever. Let us pray. Let them all go to you, O God, all the joys and sufferings of this day. Let them all go to you, all the worries of today. Let them all go to you, all the mistakes that I made. Let them all go to you, all the people that I care for. Let them all go to you, all the sufferings of the world. Let them all go to you. All the happiness I held, let it all go to you. All the goodness that was done, let it all go to you. All the beauty that appeared, let it all go to you. All the love that I was given, let it all go to you. Let me all go to you. Amen. <clears throat> Our first scripture reading is from Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 to 11. If then there is any comfort in Christ, any consolation from love, any partnership in the Spirit, any tender affection and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or empty conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he existed in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be grasped, but emptied himself taking the form of a slave, assuming human likeness. And being found in appearance as a human, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him even more highly and gave him the name that is above every other name, so that at the name given to Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. <clears throat> and from James chapter 1, verses 19 to 25. You must understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. For human anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word, and not merely, merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror. For they look at themselves, and on going away, immediately forget what they were like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget, but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This evening our reading comes from the daily devotional Fill Me With Hope, Classic Christian Writings. This one's called Imitation by Thomas Chalmers. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. To be in Christ is to live out his ideas, character, and spirit as the atmosphere of your being. People everywhere are living in the idea and characters of others. He who lives in the spirit of Raphael becomes a painter. He who lives in the spirit of Milton becomes a poet. He who lives in the spirit of Bacon becomes a philosopher. He who lives in the spirit of Caesar becomes a warrior. He who lives in the spirit of Jesus Christ becomes a mature person. In the spirit of Christ, live for something outside of yourself. 
Do good and leave behind you a monument of virtue that the storm of time can never destroy. Write your name in kindness, love, and mercy on the hearts of thousands you come in contact with year by year. You will never be forgotten. Know your name, your deeds will be as legible on the hearts you leave behind as the stars on the brow of evening. Good deeds will shine as the star of heaven. Is life worth living? Yes, so long as there is wrong to right, so long as lingers gloom to chase or streaming tears to dry, so long as a tale of anguish swells the heart and eyes grow wet and at the sound of God's word we pardon and forget. Is life worth living? Only when we are living in Christ and we let him shine through us. Let us pray. Dearest Lord, let me go with you into your good night. Loosen my grip on the length of this day. Lift off the clothes of these my cares. Unbutton my worries one by one. Untie the knots of not being good enough. Undo the one who is undone. Cover me with your love and fold me once again into your hands I commend my spirit. Watch over my dear ones, the near ones and the far ones, eyes of my eyes. Hear the strangers who cry, ears of my ears. Hold them all close while I am asleep, heart of my heart, mind of my mind. Mind them, mind me. Mend us all in the great womb of your dear darkness once again. Amen. May God who keeps us close in the day and in the night, in the light and in the dark, who protects us from the darkness and shines the light of Christ on us, may he shine that light of Christ through us as we rest this evening and serve him once again tomorrow. Amen. Good night.